Hey guys, I'm LB, and last episode, we- we logic our way through this puzzle. That took a long time for such a simple solution as that. Yeah, stare at it. Stare at the art. You will hear a buzzer. Okay, no. Uh, oh. This is... interesting. This is water. I think that's a video. This is water. Interesting. <laughs> oh! 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 I'm looking for USB keys, by the way. The little... voice logs, audio recordings. I don't see any, unless they're in here. Eh, maybe there's just not any in this room. They are pretty scarce. What's going on here? Why can't I start these puzzles? Hmm, why can't I start these puzzles? Oh, they all look impossible. Well, hang on, this one looks impossible. Yeah, this one is definitely impossible. For sure. 100% sure this one's impossible. This one... ...is also impossible. This one... ...is also impossible. These are all impossible! They're all impossible. So what am I supposed to do? At least they all look impossible. What does the door look like again? Maybe I'm just not meant to ever be able to get into there, because this doesn't even look like it has a way to unlock it. Yeah, I don't even see a thing to unlock it. But it does look like it has a door. Yeah, it does have a door, but I don't see a way to unlock it. And these puzzles all look impossible to, to me right now. Oh, this is the trailer! Wait, what? Aren't there supposed to be walls that pop up and block my path? Is any one of these monitors on? I don't see any of these monitors turning on, or actually being on currently. Okay then. Yeah, we just can't do anything here yet. What I swear is it's like from the trailer with the walls that... Wait a minute. No, these aren't monitors, duh. These aren't monitors. <laughs> but yeah, I swear that walls pop up in the trailer as they're walking through a maze somewhere. I remember watching that in the trailer, and I haven't seen it in the game yet. This is a pretty place. Why are all these screens off? Do we even begin? I have to do something in the other room here? Or maybe, maybe this is the ending, and I'm seeing what I'm gonna have to go through later. 
look, it's the same three impossible puzzles again. Why are they here again? That's weird. Also, like, why does this have, like, one little fourth nugget cut out, and this one is fine? This one looks normal. These ones have... The border is different. These have a darker border, this one has the same background and border. That's weird. There's a monitor down there. Look at this water. Isn't it beautiful? Like, even on low graphics, it's very beautiful to me. I think this is a sound puzzle. This is a weird place. that weird sound. Maybe- do all the puzzles in the game make that sound and I just never noticed? What is this? It's not even turned on yet, looks like. Looks kinda like the tree puzzle, doesn't it? It's got the four- four sides. But it's only got one s start and one exit, or... Wait, where would the exits be? Where would the starts be? Weird. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, that one's obvious. Yeah, you don't miss something obvious like that. Huh? Oh! Okay, I remember in an interview for the the PlayStation gameplay demo walkthrough, whatever of the the, the uh, yeah. Whatever. Jonathan Blow was there, and he was asked if there's any music in the game, he said no. Well, and then he changed his mind, he said, well, there might be one song in the game, is what he said. And I thought maybe it might be the ending, but no, I think this is the song. I want to explore around a bit more before turning this on, though. This is... weird, to say the least. This place is weird. So it's just like caves, and I guess they're natural caves, but... What's through here? Ah! Hey, I know where this is. This is the movie theater. This is the cinema. We finally got to it, guys. Okay, yeah, that was easy. Yes, we are above the cinema, and that means we should... ...be able to do this guy. Where do we need to stand? Where is even the start? Is it... that? Unless we have to do it from up there, but that doesn't make sense, because there's stuff in the way. I swear we have to do it from here. Talking about- oop, oh, nope, uh... Don't these look like you would trace a path on them? Oh no, it's another one where you have to have a certain movie playing! 
That's so stupid. Oh my goodness. And then how would you even trace the path with all these things in the way? You would have to stand... Well, no, where would you stand? There's always stuff in the way. Wait a minute. No, I don't... Okay. Either way... I... <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright. <laughs> Wow, minecart stuff. Wait, wait, what's this way? Ah, yes. We'll go there in a moment. I wanna see what's up this way. Any you- oh yes, here's one! The concept of a clock enfolds all succession in time. In the concept, the sixth hour is not earlier than the seventh or eighth. Although the clock never strikes the hour, save when the concept biddeth. Nicholas of Cusa, 1450. That's mine, you know. Yeah. Well, I have some ideas about it, and I just wanted to give it a try. See how it goes? Next thing I know, you'll be taking over all the Cusa pieces. What kind of ideas? I don't know. Subconscious drives, right? Like, with anything creative. Did you feel this way before your trip to the island? Or after? Well... I think... After. Yeah, mostly after. I had a seed of it before. Even back when I first heard the piece, when you first picked it out. But... I didn't really notice then. Now it's like the princess and the pea. I don't mean to be stepping on your toes, though. I really, the drive is personal. I wanted to record this one so I can hear it the way I want to hear it. Just to set something right for myself. Okay. I'm gonna file this under the category of good problems to have. Your attitude to the piece changed or clarified maybe based on the trip. That means it's working. I mean, something's working, right? Maybe. <laughs> Back when we started, I would have counted us lucky to ever get this far. <laughs> but here we are. Here we are. Record away. And I will take my leave. Thanking you for this opportunity to introspect on my aversive feelings. <laughs> You're welcome. Once again, I do not understand what that's about. It's- I guess it's like the storyline for this island or something, but... It, it could also just be the developers talking, but, you know, they said it's like visiting the island, or... They talk about it like this island is real, so I don't think it's from the developers' perspectives. I think it's from perspectives of whoever made this island? Anyway, this is a fun one to solve. I like this. I like the triangle puzzles a lot. It wasn't hard, it was- it was actually a lot easier than some of the other puzzles I've seen, but I like it. Okay, now let's go down this way. I bet this leads to the pyramid, right? I keep calling it a pyramid, it's just like a... temple or something. I'm just gonna keep calling it a pyramid though, because that's what I'm familiar with. First of all, let's just unlock this. Well, there's that. And we are at 475. Oh, what's this? Wow, they're just- they're just giving it to us? Huh? Okay, this is not a cinema piece.
I'm gonna take a picture of this. Nope, nope, just, just picture, please. Picture taken. Uh, I actually don't know what that's for, but I'm sure we'll find out pretty quickly. Yes, yes, this is a temple. Yes. Yes. Okay. Got much better shortcuts to places now. Where is this involved? Oh! I didn't even see that there. I thought my voyage had come to its end. At the last limit of my power. That the path before me was closed. The provisions... exhausted. And the time come to take shelter in silent obscurity. But I find that thy will knows no end in me. And when words die out on the tongue, new melodies break forth from the heart. And where old tracks are lost, new country is revealed with its wonders. Doesn't say who the quote's by. How did I not see that? I cannot understand why we idle discussing religion. If we are honest, and scientists have to be, we must admit that religion is a jumble of false assertions with no basis in reality. The very idea of God is a product of the human imagination. It is quite understandable why primitive people who are so much more exposed to the overpowering forces of nature than we are today, should have personified these forces in fear and trembling. But nowadays, when we understand so many natural processes, we have no need for such solutions. I can't, for the life of me, see how the postulate of an almighty God helps us in any way. What I do see is that this assumption leads to such unproductive questions as to why God allows so much misery and injustice, the exploitation of the poor by the rich, and all the other horrors he might have prevented. If religion is still being taught, it is by no means because its ideas still convince us, but simply because some of us want to keep the lower classes quiet. Quiet people are much easier to govern than clamorous and dissatisfied ones. They are also much easier to exploit. Religion is a kind of opium that allows a nation to lull itself into wishful dreams and so forget the injustices that are being perpetrated against the people. Paul Dirac, 1927, as related by Werner Heisenberg. So, you see what I'm saying here? Yep, this one doesn't fit either. How would you characterize the way in which it doesn't fit? Well, it's about arguing. And it's about being greatly disturbed by issues that are relatively small. It's not aiming high, and it's not about ultimate truth. Not really. It's mostly about what some stupid people are doing that is wrong compared to what I am doing that is right. But Paul Dirac was definitely a truth seeker, in the domain of physics at least. Yeah, but... I don't feel that attitude in this piece at all. If a belief is just formed in opposition to other beliefs, it can't be fundamental. It can't be that deep. But, you know, where he says the thing about natural processes, he starts to outline an actual philosophy. Hmm, interesting. There's something that could stand on its own. It, it isn't just rejection and opposition. But then he drops it. This isn't the Atheist Manifesto we need. I'll keep looking. Okay. You know, at one point Dirac also wrote this. One could perhaps describe the situation by saying that God is a mathematician of a very high order, and he used very advanced mathematics in constructing the universe. I think he meant God in an Einstein kind of way. Hmm. He said that? Same guy. Same guy. Later in life, though. Yeah, people are strange. Scientists are stranger. <laughs> yes, they are.
That was interesting. It's like them choosing quotes for the game. So, I see that there's specific points on these poles where there are leaves, but I still am not sure where to put them, or where to stand, I should say. Maybe I really do have to do this from up there, but that- no, there's- there's like leaves in the way to prevent that. I just can't get close enough to get a good angle on this. Because you'd have to be able to activate this, and you would need these leaves to, to be in just the right places. But you can't move while drawing. I don't know. Let's go back, and, uh, next episode we will turn on the record player. And see what that does. Thanks for watching, and I will see you then. Goodbye!